Hey, what's going on? Just gonna do a short video here. Uh, I wanna do a random pack opening. Got some stuff building up here. But the catch on in this one is that I'm not gonna show you everything up front. It's gonna be baseball and then a little non sport. But you're just gonna have to find out about it when I pull the pack out. Oh, yeah. And then I have some, um, could be good news, could be bad news for depending on your interest level in it about, um, uh, but Koresh. Let's go. First pack. This is a 1992 upper deck. I got this with the collection that I just got. We are, of course, looking for Nevers or the Ted Williams. I just feel like I'm going to get the Ted Williams on a random pack. Um, get to flip these over. So when I bought that collection, there's Jose Canseco. He just kind of asked me, what else do you want? You know, when he's throwing everything in. And I picked out four. Eh, there's that Frank Thomas, not autographed. Damn it. And I, I said, hey, I'll take a couple of these packs. And he kind of gave me the skunk eye with it. Like, that was unreasonable. Like, <laughs> fucking 92 upper deck. Okay. There's a Tony Gwynn. So, good pack there. Okay. So, second pack. 92 upper deck again. Yeah. It's not going to be all 92 Upper Deck. I just didn't open a box. This isn't like trickery. But I had just happened to have the most packs of 92 Upper Deck. Okay, Mike Jeffcoat trying to pretend he's Nolan Ryan. I think you got a Nolan Ryan card. A cool Roger McDowell. Uh, Dan Gladden. There's Ricky. Another landscape card. Oh. Gary and Dwight. Oh, there's Barry Bonds. Nice card. We'll just cover these up as we go. Uh, Gary and Dwight. Uh, Jim Abbott. I think I got this card twice in a pack. The last box that I opened. Okay, so nothing in there. So, let's do 1990 Tops. I had bought in two of these, and I just I opened a couple packs off camera the other day. And the first pack had a Sandberg in it. I was a little disappointed I didn't get that on camera. So, the update on Koresh is that that's not Koresh's house. Koresh is the son, one of the sons, and he's living there. Um, the wife had thought that maybe that that older guy that went there, not old, old, just the older guy that went there was, was the dad. I thought he was, uh, if he was the dad, that he was just like, Renting it out to crushers, the cow ripkin. 90 up or 90 tops. We were looking for the no name Frank Thomas. I knew that wasn't going to happen. And that was a bad pack. Um, so I believe Crush is the son. Okay, what next? Non sports tune into terror. Crush uh, is the son living there, mooching off the parent. The parents are Larry and Lauren. They're beautiful, wonderful people. They're very nice. They stopped and said, hi. I don't think that was actually Crush's lady friend. I think that was Lauren, the wife. So I stand corrected. When you're right 18% of the time, you're wrong 82. And that's okay. These are Tune Into Terror. It's kind of a not too interesting card there. It's like a serpent lady. I don't know why I buy these. There is a dog with the lady's head going through the doggy door. Uh oh, we have a half naked lady coming up. I'm excited. I don't know what that is. I've gotten that card before. And there's a half naked lady. Yes, I'll send it to you, Chris Weaver. Uh, so I buy these because I have a sickness. And I don't know why. Okay, next pack 1990 Fleer. We got better stuff. Eh, semi better stuff coming up. Now we actually have a little bit better stuff. 1990 Fleer. So he still is the reincarnation of uh, David Koresh. He's just mooching at his parents' house. So 1990 Fleer, one of my most hated sets. You can't get a whole lot out of this. Uh, we're looking for. It's funny, by the time you see this, you just saw the collection video. And I got that epic air card of the Jeff Treadway um, bullseye. We are looking for the uh, Dave Martinez. And it's not supposed to... I, I don't understand why it's that big of an air card. It's just a coloring on the uh, the border for Dave Martinez is wrong. 
I haven't opened these in forever. I don't know why I bought this. A banged up Keith Comstock. Banged up Willie McGee. A unwanted Harold Baines. Uh, I remember when I, for when I was out of cards for a little bit, these cards are in bad condition. Uh, and it was the, the proper pack to have in bad condition. I remember when I would buy those variety packs when I was kind of out of cards, but once in a while I'd still go get, the, you know, you'd get anywhere from 15 to 20 packs for like 20 bucks at Target. I got so, t you know, the 90 Fleer, I got so tired of it, I wouldn't even open it. Another pack of 1992 Upper Deck. I got so tired of it, I, I would literally not even open it and just put it in like the donation pile. Okay. What can we get out of this? We've gotten some uh, keeper cards, as I like to say, from the earlier packs. Nothing special. And there's a King Griffey Sr. Well, hey, there's a Colorado Rockies sticker. I'll take that. I don't think I've gotten that Rocky sticker out of here before. Mark McGuire goes with the Conseco there. We got a bunch of A's so far today. There's that Dwight and Gary card again. And there's that Jim Abbott card again. I'm telling you, that card is a weed. It's a weed. Okay. A little bit better. We have 19... This is the 1900s, I promise you. 1997 Bowman. Can't see the. I know it's around that date. We are looking for the Adrian Beltre rookie card. We could also be looking for an autograph. I believe I pulled an autograph when I first bought these packs from the LCS, and it was a nobody. I can't remember. I think I cursed. I think there could be another auto in here, but we're also looking for the Beltre. Oh, Mariano Rivera. Nice card to start. I love these cards. Very nice. Mo. There is Jake Westbrook. Aaron Boone. Isn't John Wetland in jail? Oh, there's a Bogsy. Oh, Ripken. So, a Mariano Rivera, a Cal Ripken. We got some prospects coming up. Let's go from the back here. The checklist. We got the Wade Boggs, U.S. Wade Boggs, I believe, was born in Nebraska, the same state that I was born in. Let's go from the back here. We have Chris Fussell, Mike Drumright. He played wrong, but he drummed right. Chris Widger, I've heard, heard that name before. I have to sneeze in a second here. I'm not going to edit it out. And, <coughs> sorry, excuse me. And Brett Tomko, which I'm familiar with. Very nice pack, though. Ripken, Mariano, and the Wade Boggs insert. Okay, so what else have we got here? 1991 Fleer Rack Pack. You knew it was coming. It has a Cub sticker on the outside. Let's see if there's anybody on the front. Well, you can't really see. It's not really worth displaying if you can't really see it. I accidentally ran into that last Sandberg on the, the, the top of one of these that I got. So I just didn't want to uh, make that same mistake and open up something that I would gladly pay money for. Top dollar for 91 Fleer. I'm going to take all three packs out here. I'm not loading the deck here. I promise you, I'm not spiking the 91 Fleer package. So, that is a little disappointing. So there's... Looks like there's going to be two Cubs stickers in this. Got a little mess going on here. I've been... This two or three oaked. We have the Cub sticker. And then the Ruben Sierra. Uh -huh, not the best one to get out of that, but whatever. Let's take a look and see what else we got here. There's maybe the best card you can get out of here. Is the King Griffey Jr. Barry Bonds little off-center, but we've been getting some nice cards out of these random packs. I was just going to open these off-camera. I'm glad I... And look at that. Look at that. Sandberg and Fessel. <laughs> Fessel. Cecil Fielder. Let's go! Okay. Uh, is that the one I just looked at? Yeah. Okay. Here's the second one. I don't think we're going to get any more of those... Um, 
Provisions or any more good cards up here. Oh, well, that's Tony Gwynn. Can't cover the Sandberg. Gary Carter, Hall of Famer. Okay. And the third one of the Rack Pack. Another Dante Bichette. It was just in the last pack. And Tony Gwynn. So we got a repeat. That sucks. In a uh, Rack Pack. Gary Carter again. And then we got the Cup Sticker. So... Eh, we got a couple keepers out of there. Okay, we got a couple packs left here. We got my last non-sport, the Star Wars. I bought two packs of these. I did not have any excitement from the first one, so let's see what we can get out of here. Uh, I don't know. Meet Kylo Ren. Uh, I love this. Uh, Star Wars released on home video. Some cool looking card with Darth Vader on it. The boy is particularly fond of Darth Vader. This is called Beggar's Canyon in Tulloon or Tatooine, 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 and that's C-3PO. Uh, I don't know if these can be numbered. I'm not gonna buy any more of these. I guess it doesn't matter. So those are Star Wars. Okay, we got three packs left. Our last pack of 1992 Upper Deck. We better not get that damn Jim Abbott card. Well, not, not a whole lot I can do. Upper deck's out of business for baseball. So, uh, Mike Messina. Who else here? Skintillating conversation by myself. I'm just tired of sorting through these. Just tired. We have another announcement. There's that King Griffey Jr. card again. King Griffey Jr. And my favorite Griffey is Craig. Uh, and look at that. As I said, he's my favorite Griffey. So they gave me two. And then Chili Davis. So we have two packs left. And I will make a very important announcement. Right before the last pack. As you saw, this is Heritage this year. I am a sucker. I bought this for a different reason, a video I was going to do that I didn't do. God damn, these rack, these uh, fat packs of heritage are terrible. I'm wasting money, man. I have to check to see. I don't think I have that one, though. Deekman for the Cubs, Brian Miller, Henry Ramos. A very happy Henry Ramos. Uh, McCann, Bieber, Mookie Betts, Benintendi. Kevin Newman, Lance McCullers Jr., and Shohei, the best card of the pack. Let's see if there's any high number. Over 400. You got to give me a damn high number. I will never buy another fat pack of Heritage. Not even a high number card. I have to check those after I'm done to see if I need any for my set. Okay. Let me for the last pack magic, we hope. Um, I am announcing the Craigfield 8. And the winner, or the loser, or the recipient of the Craigfield 8, and he's got an 8 in his name, is Joel Berry 8. Joel Berry, congratulations. You're going to get the holiday edition of the Craigfield. The Craigfield 8 holiday edition. Uh, Joel Berry is a Atlanta Braves fan. Uh, Joel Berry. He's a big uh, collections guy. He buys a lot of collections, a lot better than mine. He buys huge collections. Uh, he's got a ton of stuff. Uh, you know, big Braves fan, big Chipper fan. Um, he's actually been releasing some videos later. I don't think there's any other Joel, J-O-E-L, Barry, B-A-R-R-Y, eight people out there. So if you do want to check out a couple of his videos, they're short. I think he just did a hanger uh, on update. So, Joel, you do not have to do... Um, you do not have to do any video of the Craigfield 8. You just uh, have to receive it and pretend that you like it. So that'll be the holiday of edition of the Craigfield this year. Last pack, and we're going to have my last pack of the Bowman 97. 1997, once again, we're looking for an Adrian Beltre rookie. We're looking for an autograph. The last pack we did was pretty nice. I wouldn't expect this one to have that many stars in it. We have Joe Lagarde, but I was wrong. We do have the stars. This is kind of a weirder setup than the last pack. We have Jonathan Jonathan Johnson, weird name. 
we have Mike Messina, Hall of Famer. Look at that. Ah, we did. We had the big hit. Look at that. We got the Sandberg. We got the Sandberg. If I have this card, I only have one of it. This is the, the hit of the month for anybody opening cards. That is awesome. Very, very, very nice. We have these cards stuck together. Okay. We have Luis Castillo. I don't really know who Luis Castillo is. I don't know what flag that is. Uh, I'm not going to look any longer. Luis Castillo. We have Tony Clark. Shane Monahan. Richie Sexton. Of course, we all know Richie Sexton. Remember him. There's Dave Coggin. Chris Benson. I remember him. And then the guaranteed value fraud. Okay, so that was it. Just a little random pack opening. Get some stuff out of the way. Uh, waste some more money. But once again, thank you very much for watching. Congrats to Joel Berry on the Craigfield 8. Uh, don't hold your breath. It's not coming out that soon. Give me a little bit of time. Uh, and then just let me know, man, if, um, if, when you get it to course and if you're going to film it or not. Um, so thank you very much, and I'll talk to you later.